Hey, expert and sell here, showing you how to turn everyday items around you into dollars. Look, Africa has huge potentials and we can increase the wealth of Africa by exporting everyday items such as food, clothes, cosmetic, wooden items, you name it, and selling them in dollars. On this channel, we show you how to go from zero to as much as $100,000 monthly in a very short time. So don't forget to subscribe so you're updated when I post new videos videos and be sure to share this video with family and friends as you don't know whose life you will change. Again, hit the subscribe button. Let's get started. Today I have a very important topic that I believe um, it's important for everybody, especially if you are serious about exporting. Now, when we talk about exporting, we're not, you know, we, we are talking to people who want to make good money. Uh, earn a living and basically increase their wealth. Uh, and one of the ways to do that is by saving on shipping costs. You know, again, uh, I'm sure you know what I talk about, how to sell, uh, export from Africa and sell in the USA. Before you can do that, you obviously have to get your products uh, right uh, to the USA. Now, shipping is one of the most expensive parts of any business. Uh, especially export business and there are ways that you can reduce that you know so today that's what I'm gonna be focusing on and then I will also show you uh, a solution we have uh, that is designed uh, you know to to help you uh, lower your shipping cost now the first way I'm gonna talk about is the size of your packaging you know, this is vital uh, in terms of reducing your shipping costs. Now, let me give you a little story. You know, uh, we had this lady who came for one of our seminars and um, uh, she had this very innovative fashion idea. I don't want to talk about what it is, uh, you know, and when I told her, okay, bring your products, let's look at it. Uh, what we found out was that she had product in a very big box, you know, so <laughs> when you look, you know, so she was trying to target the luxury market and yes over here because you are shipping locally it doesn't have a huge impact um but when we looked at it when we did the analysis she was going to be spending about four or five times what she needed to spend uh shipping this thing because of the volume you know so she designed it in a very big pack so what we had to do first of all do is to reduce that pack and we can re we were able to reduce that pack by almost 80 percent you know when you remember international shipping you know uh, especially when you are shipping via air there's what we call dimensional or volume weight you know so you don't just take a package to the airline and because it weighs 5 kg but occupies the space of a whole room uh, you want to pay for just 5 kg no the airline is going to charge you both for the space you are using as well as the weight so that is one area uh are you having excess packaging with you know a lot of useless things as part of the packaging go and take a look again at your product is there a way you can squeeze everything inside without affecting the function of the product that is probably the biggest area where you are going to uh, save a lot of money i remember when you are into e-commerce meaning that you are shipping items uh to your customers uh as they buy um this is really 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 important you know so again um Another aspect of saving money on shipping uh, is what I call um, making sure your documentation is perfect. Why do I say this? It's very, very vital for your documentation to be perfect. Now, if it is not, one of the things that can happen is that customs will typically hold a shipment where they have issues with the documentation. You know and that could be very costly you know uh we've seen containers where we've had to pay uh close to nine thousand dollars extra uh because the containers were at the port for close to two months now those were not our fault the reason was you know uh basically because of the covid uh so what happened was you had less personnel working 
there was not enough people to move the container so it ended up being there for a long time uh, until it got to our top but that tells you how much you can lose uh, if you are not using the right documentation if they hold your container for example and they have to examine it because um, you know on your packing list you have the at your shipping maybe palm oil and then when they open the uh, you know they look at your commercial invoice it's wrong it's a big issue another big issue that could happen is especially when you're shipping food products and you do not do your uh, prior notification ahead you know if you are shipping via food products via air and a good shipping company should know all this uh, if you're shipping uh, products via air 48 hours before it leaves to the usa um, you need to send what they call a food uh, fda no pre-notification and they know how to do all that it's a good shipping company will know how to do all that and this is so important because you know again the right documentation that has a lot of things uh, as part of it you know i had a lady call me once over 350 kilograms of food items she and her shipper did not file fda uh, uh food facility registration that shipment was held now for air it can be very expensive you know some airlines will charge you about anywhere two to four dollars per kg per day in storage you know and that can easily accumulate so imagine if you were shipping a uh, hundred kilograms of item they could charge you anywhere from 200 to 400 dollars a day in storage it's really really high a lot of times you have people who just abandon those items so that's another uh, crazy way uh, where you could be uh, wasting money on shipping so again um, the, fr the first uh, make sure your documentations are right uh, that is very vital, like I said. Uh, and then this, uh, you know, the earlier one I said is make sure uh, you use the right uh, packaging materials. You don't need to, um, you know, uh, have excess items when it's not needed. Now, the second one is shipping. What is your shipping method? Obviously, air is uh, faster, but it's way, way, way more expensive. You know, so if you are somebody who is shipping in bulk, uh to maximize your profit you need to look at uh shipping via ocean because the cost of shipping via ocean can be minimal now you will be surprised a lot of the the buyers who are buying from you that you are shipping via air they may be willing to wait for a certain amount of time maybe two two months thereabout for the items to come in if you are able to build them at a lower cost you know ask them a lot of times we just feel oh it must go by air no talk to your buyers tell them that look the cost of shipping uh, via air is a thousand dollars you can do that same item via c for two hundred dollars do they want an eight hundred dollar discount uh, in the cost that you are going to provide those things to them and it saves you money because if they don't really need it fast and they don't know that you can supply it uh, 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 at a slower pace uh, then it's a problem. So that is another way uh, for you to save money uh, on shipping. Um, the last way I'm going to talk about, a, yeah, and we're going to go in depth into this because it's uh, one of the th ways that we see has been very, very vital for you to save on shipping costs. And that is by warehousing your products in the USA. So how does that work? You have customers, regular customers all over the usa right now you know that every week one of them is going to order something from you or every maybe two three weeks depending on the size of your items they are going to order something from you you don't need to be shipping those items every time via air no what you have to do is basically do a bulk shipment via c and then store it in a warehouse out there in the usa so that as they need the product it is dispatched from that warehouse. That is the solution. Now, if you tap into this, this solution that I'm telling you is going to save you a lot of money. Now, we here at Export and Sell, because we have warehouses in the USA, um, we've developed a solution uh, similar to that. And I'm going to share that solution with you uh, right now so that you can see how to save uh, so much on shipping. I believe so much in this solution uh for a couple of reasons um one is that because 
you are using this solution, uh, one of the key things that happens is you are closer to your buyers. You are able to satisfy them instead of you to wait days to go through customs, shipping via air, and then customs again via once it gets to the USA. You have the products already there and it is simply shipped to them. Now, these are our... So what we do here is simple. We have a warehousing service where you can warehouse your items in any of our warehouses, Houston or Atlanta. Uh, you don't need to have any special service with us. You can warehouse those products and we will ship it to the customers, your customers as they buy. It's a very simple process. So these are the costs for such. You know, we basically start at a pallet size, uh, 48 by 40 by 36. That's our standard size of a pallet and is roughly equivalent to one CBM, one cubic meter space uh, of uh, items. Uh, and we, we anything less than that, we charge it at a $1.50 uh, per cubic feet per month. You know, so if you have, say, uh, a box of 24 by 24 by 24 in inches, which is uh, 2 times 2 times 2, which is about 8 uh, cubic uh, feet, uh, then your storage for that month is 8 times 1.5, which is $12 a month. Now, when you look at the cost of shipping items that will fill up such a box, a box of 24 by 24 by 24, and depending on the weight, you are obviously going to spend way, 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 way more than $12. In fact, you're going to spend anywhere from four to $500 to ship such via air. So if you can ship such via sea, you know, the rule of thumb I typically tell people uh, is about 10 to 1, you know, where you are shipping something via air for a hundred dollars, you can ship it via sea for about ten dollars. So ship it via sea, uh, and again, this depends on the size of the weight and the configuration. But it's a, it's a rough rule that I have seen. So if you ship it via sea, uh, you ship in bulk, you send it to the warehouse as your customers order. We at Export and Sell will simply dispatch it. So what you see there is the cost. Now we can store not just small items; we can store up to a whole forty-foot container if you need it. You know, and these are the costs there, as you see, very really uh, cheap. Um, you know, very affordable cost. Uh, just by storing items like this, what you are going to see is that you are saving. Uh, so much on logistics and the key thing is that you are now faster and closer to your buyers when they send you that message that they want a particular product all you have to do is very simple email us at contact at export and sell.com now we're working on a platform that will automate this uh, easily and we don't charge much we only charge five dollars to pull out the item plus the cost of uh, FedEx in it to the customer so it saves you a whole whole lot of money uh, using this method. If it's a pallet, we'll charge $20 to pull out the pallet plus the cost to send it to the customer. That does not compare anywhere to paying, you know, thousands of dollars to ship that pallet via air every time to the customer. So again, this is one way to save money on shipping. And as you save money on shipping, what happens? You are increasing the profitability of your business not just to you but you are also going to be saving your buyer a lot of money so very straightforward that is what uh, how we do it uh, we have warehouses like we said in uh, Houston and Atlanta so please if you watch this video don't just send items to the address uh, that you see on the screen no you have to first reach out to us because we have to look at what you are shipping it's not just about everything that we can accept in our warehouses you know there are rules you know we don't do dangerous goods in the warehouse and stuff like that so we we must be sure of the items you have before uh, we accept it so again email us contact at export and sell and we will work out something for you. So again, that is one key way uh, to save a lot of money uh, on your shipping costs. You know, you have you have to be wise. You have to be wise to make it in 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 an export business. You have to do things the right way. And this is the way that the Chinese use. You know, uh, they have warehouses all over, and then they will, you know, have various companies ship to that warehouse. 
and as people are ordering those products they are either dispatching you know so they could be ordering from uh, uh, amazon from ebay from various websites and that's how they've been able to dominate uh, the u.s market and that is what we are bringing to you uh, again so again that's all that i have uh, in this section um you know uh saving you money if you follow this uh i think it's four tips i think i may have said five before but i think i gave you four tips if you follow these four tips number one make sure you don't use excess packaging on your package you know i've seen shipments that have unnecessary space inside them reduce it as long as it doesn't affect the quality of what you're shipping number two make sure your documentations are right because if your documentations are wrong your shipment could be delayed and it will cost you heavily in demo rate charges number three use ocean as much as possible uh talk to your buyers you may be surprised that some of them are willing to receive items in bulk if you are going to save them money on the shipping cost and then the next one is by warehousing it in the usa and like i said we offer that service so again thank you for watching uh if you have not subscribed to this channel do make sure to subscribe because every week I will be loading you with some valuable tips on how to save money and make money by exporting to the USA. You know, together, like I say, we can increase the wealth of Africa. See you next time.